sind da im Dressing Room von Three Inches of Blood und ich habe jetzt das Interviewpartner in Camp Pipes von Three Inches of Blood natürlich. Uh, how is the tour going on so far and how is it to be on tour with the legendary Overkill? Um, great and great. Um, okay. uh, it was uh, pretty exciting to get uh, asked to tour with them. Okay. Um, they're, you know, they're legends and you know, they're still doing really well in the metal world. They're still relevant okay. and so naturally we'd want to play in front of their fans and you know, come back to Europe again. So it's uh, you know, okay. easy decision. <laughs> okay. They're having a good number and and the tour is going really well. So. Sounds good. Uh, let's talk about your new album, Long Live Heavy Metal. Uh, what was the idea of the title? I heard you stole it a little bit from Rainbow. Uh, I wouldn't say steal it, but uh, <laughs> um, we definitely kind of got the idea, uh, was inspired by, by that. Um, uh, we, we sat on it for a long time, just, just thinking, is this the right, is this the right title? Uh, will people get the wrong idea? Um, but after a while it just felt natural and so we stuck with it. Okay. Uh, the show was great, how was it for you and uh, what do you think, how does the new songs work on the stage? Um, well, it's, um, I'm not used to playing this early, Okay. it was like three o'clock, so, <laughs> but uh, no problem, I mean at least it wasn't um, 9 a.m. or mm -hmm. you know even noon, so. Three, I guess, worked out okay. I felt, uh, I think we all felt really good afterwards, and we're probably really surprised at, uh, you know, how well we played. But uh, so we're really happy with it. Um, but uh, the new songs, I think, they've been going over really well uh, from the get-go. Uh, you know, we we try and fit in as many new ones as we can in the time we're given. So. Okay. So you had so many lineup changes in the last years, no, but now it seems really stable. Uh, how's the chemistry now in the band? Great, um, no complaints. Mm -hmm. you know, everybody's okay. everybody's in it for the same reason, and you know wants to do this mm -hmm. uh, long term. So okay. you know that's what we want. Uh, what's next on the plan after this tour? Uh, we've got a bit of a break in November. Then uh, we've got a bit of touring in the United States mm -hmm. in December. Uh, spend some time at home with the holidays. Mm -hmm. uh, after that, and then uh, in the new year. Probably more touring in the U.S. and hopefully okay. be back over here um, for festival season. Okay. And anywhere else uh, that will have us, we'll we'll go. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you already work on new songs? Uh, we plan on it. Yeah, uh, we're going to have about a month off in mm -hmm. November, so um, that is the plan to uh, brush up on mm -hmm. on some some stuff that we haven't had in the set for a while and to take advantage of the time okay. to uh, work on some new stuff. How do you normally create songs and how do you share the work in the band? Uh, generally the Justin and Shane, the guitar players, will uh, they'll spend time on their own at home uh, writing riffs. Mm -hmm. uh, then they usually record them onto, onto you know, their computers and okay. they'll, they'll, we'll send them to each other then we just kind of get ideas from that. Um, then we all get together in the rehearsal room okay. and just kind of work work on uh, the riffs that they've got and see what goes together. Mm -hmm. Then uh, once the song's maybe half done, I start putting lyrics to it and okay. seeing what works. And okay, you had many gigs, many tours in your career. Uh, do you have a maybe funny or ugly story from the tour life? Uh, you know, we, we've... We've had mostly mostly good times, you know. Nothing, nothing too crazy or out of the ordinary really stands out. So, um, you know, we're good boys for the most part. We behave ourselves because we uh, we don't want to get uh, uh, hinder ourselves from okay. you know, being able to travel somewhere by getting into too much trouble. So, okay, the lyrics of the new album are very cliche written. Uh, which is oh, is it only because it fit to the to the album title, or are there a deeper meaning sometimes? Um, well, I, don't, I typically don't write lyrics thinking about like an overall uh, concept of a record. Uh, it just it, it's kind of the opposite. Like the title comes from usually looking at uh, any possible unifying theme of okay. of all the songs once they're put together. Um, and you know it's i just write what's on my mind you know what's just what's inspiring me at the time and you know it's just whatever comes to me okay uh one example from the new album 
Um, what about Leather Lord? Uh, yeah, well, Leather Lord, um, and and with a lot of the songs, uh, I usually get the title of the song first, and then I, I build on the idea from that. Um, Leather Lord, I don't know where I came up with the title, but I just I made a note of it, and then I thought, okay, well, the Leather Lord will be. Uh, some you know powerful you know entity that you know is kind of a force for uh, a symbol of heavy metal I guess as it were who uh, you know fights for metal and just is uh, kind of a, a keeper of the flame I guess it's a cool title it very it really fits to the to the song so yeah I mean it's it's important to have a have a catchy memorable title uh, as well that's why I like to come up with the titles first okay uh, so thank you for the interview do you have some words for the fans out there um, we're uh, we uh, we love our fans and uh, you know what more can you say it's without them we wouldn't be here so okay thank you very much thank you